It's time to get all Kurt Cameron up in this bitch. Faith Based is brought to us by director Vincent Mescal and stars Luke Barnett and Tanner Thompson as Luke and Tanner. Luke and Tanner have been best friends since childhood, and now that they're adults, have done pretty much absolutely fucking lutely nothing with their lives. Tanner works in a bar, and Luke works for a pool cleaning service, while on the side, he tries to sell tea in a pyramid scheme. Both of them have been looking for their big break in the world, but have ended up being more or less 30-something slackers. That is until Luke has the grand idea of making a faith-based movie, because apparently faith-based movies make a shit ton of money. And so Luke and Tanner set out to make the best faith-based movie ever made. Faith-based as a concept falls very much in line with movies such as Saved or earlier this year's Yes God Yes. And much like those movies, it's not making fun of religion, it's more poking fun at the establishment. But even more so than with those movies, faith-based isn't so much making fun of the establishment as it is these two guys who think they know what it's all about, but have more or less no fucking clue at all, pretty much like anything else in life. Based on its marketing material, faith-based kind of seems like it's making fun of religion, when honestly it's not really. Actually, it's making less fun of religion as a whole than the previous movies I spoke about. And really, it has more positive things to say about religion than those previous movies did. It really pokes more fun at the faith-based film industry, if anything else. And just how, kind of, overall, those movies have been fairly bad as a whole. And as a whole, it's pretty successful. This was a pretty funny fucking movie. The story overall is fairly conventional for the most part. We see it unfold, and it's nothing that we haven't seen before, as far as from its story beats is concerned. There's a couple of things that come up a bit closer to the end that you're not expecting, but it's nothing like mind-blowing or anything. But it's the characters and the gags throughout that really make this a joy to watch. Watch. There are some genuinely funny pokes at not only the faith-based film industry, but also the total and absolute ineptitude of these two characters. Speaking of characters, that is what really sells this movie. Barnett and Thompson do a great job as our two leads. They're both very relatable and funny characters that are a joy to watch throughout. But all the other characters in the movie are great as well, and we have some great character actors here too. We have the likes of Lance Reddick, Jason Alexander, Richard Ryle, Margaret Cho, David Kochner, and more. And they are all absolutely great in their respective roles. For the most part, not many of them take up too much screen time, but what time they do take up is absolute gold. Lance Reddick especially once again shows us that not only can he tackle the serious roles, but the man is an absolute comic genius. The scenes with Reddick as Luke's adopted father are some of the best ones in the movie and absolutely fucking hilarious. Now while this movie is really entertaining, has some great performances, and is just funny as hell, it's not all perfect. About two thirds of the way through, we do have a bit of a lull. Now this part of the movie is not awful, but there is about a 10 minute period that the brakes are firmly pushed, and things slow down considerably. Thankfully though, it doesn't last too long, and things pick up very quickly right after that, and last all the way to the end of the movie. There's also this weird thing they do throughout the movie that make it almost like a documentary where the main characters will stop and like talk to the camera kind of like people do in reality TV shows. But it's not in the context of like while they're making the movie in the movie this was done or even like after that movie was made they came back and filmed this. No, it's just randomly throughout the movie they sit down and have conversations with the screen. They're fairly quick and they are entertaining but in retrospect looking back you're kind of like what, what was going on there? Why did just randomly, before they even decided to make a movie, were they like talking to the camera like they were on a reality TV show? Which at no point ever are they on any type of reality TV show. Though with as lighthearted and kind of kooky out there the rest of the movie is, this does just kind of fit in regardless if it makes sense or not. One of the things you could possibly run into when it comes to these type of movies is are they going to be mean spirited or not? Are they going to take this thing and really ram it home? Are they going to be making fun of something that is deeply personal to many people? And I understand that that is a concern for many when these type of movies come out. And this one's no different. Especially 
especially when in the promotional material. In the trailer of the movie, it says, as sincere as the Book of Mormon. Now, all sincerity aside, they are effectively comparing this movie to the Book of Mormon in the trailer. Now, let me get it out of the way right now. I've seen the Book of Mormon, and yes, I did think that it was pretty fucking funny. But this movie has nothing to do with the stage play The Book of Mormon. In tone, story, or anything, The Book of Mormon, yes, definitely could be seen as offensive. This movie, no, not so much. This movie's not taking jabs, cheap or otherwise, at religion. As stated before, if anything, it's lampooning that faith-based film industry. Yes, there's some jabs taken there, but none of them seem mean-spirited. It all seems in good fun. And that can be a difficult line to walk when making this kind of film. But thankfully, here, Faith Base does walk that line pretty straight and narrow. They dip their toes off on one side or the other, here or there, but for the most part, nobody should be too offended here. At the end of the day, guys, what else can I say about Faith Base? It was a pretty damn funny, entertaining movie I had a great time with. It has a great sense of humor, some absolutely fantastic character actors that give some wonderful performances. And while at one point it did have a little bit of a lull for a few minutes, it is overall really entertaining and genuinely funny, and absolutely worth a rent. All he wanted was hey, this. I have to return some videotape. This is just a really solid, really entertaining little comedy that I think that you'll have a really good time with if you give it a chance one night. So if you're in the mood for some laughs and aren't too uptight about what the comedy is about, then give Faith Based a chance and I think you'll have a pretty good time. So there it is guys, my review of Faith Based. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, Stay sexy, Salt Lake. Nikki Steele says. You work hard, you play hard. You work harder, you play harder. You work hardest, you play rock hard. I'm in. I mentioned in the review that Lance Reddick is one of the best parts of this movie. And while he definitely can tackle those more dramatic roles like he usually does, he is an absolute comedic genius when needed. If you watch this movie and enjoy his performance in this comedic role, check him out on the funnier die skit Toys Are Me. Holy shit! This is some of the funniest shit you have ever seen in your life. And while some of it is a bit exaggerated, some of the things he does in this skit, anybody who's worked in the service industry, especially retail, can attest to some of it not being that too far off. It seems pretty funny and you look at it and you're like, oh man, yeah, that's funny, haha, ha, but it's real exaggerated. That kind of shit doesn't happen. No, those people in retail couldn't possibly get treated like that, right? Wrong, motherfuckers. The service industry is fucking shit. Any young people out there watching this video, take my advice. Do not get into the service industry. Do everything you possibly fucking can to not be in that fucking industry. It's soul sucking.